all right guys so welcome back to another video uh, you may notice that today i'm on a fresh island and that is because i'm going to be starting a new series here on my channel it's going to be a no island challenge basically it's a challenge series um you could also call it homeless challenge i don't exactly know what i'm going to call it yet um but yeah so i mean as i said before it's i'm not allowed to use my island um, so yeah, I, I expect this to be pretty challenging because no island is also gonna mean no minions I'm not gonna be able to use the storage on my island So I'm gonna have to get a bunch of backpacks and throw them in my ender chest And yeah, I think in particular not having any minions is gonna be pretty hard um, It's also of course gonna mean other things like I can't brew pots and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more later I also am doing this on an alt just so you guys know and yeah as far as the goal for this series I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna try to go for I was thinking about setting it at like either a strong set or like a strong set and an AOTD um, I was gonna kind of gauge that as I go though to see how hard the challenge actually is and how long I want to keep doing it for um, so yeah that'll also be like however long I want to do it for will also be based on how well this is received but yeah, either way, whatever items I end up with at the end of the series, I am going to be giving away in my Discord server. So if you are interested in possibly winning those items, um, the link to my Discord server is below and I'll be giving it away there. You can also subscribe um, to stay updated with the episodes if you end up interested in actually watching this. And also, it'll um, I'll make an announcement as far as when I'm going to be giving those items away here as well because you'll know when the series ends plus i'm trying to hit youtube rank please sub so yeah the way this is gonna work is i've gone ahead and i did all the crafting quests i'm also gonna talk to jerry here and uh, yeah now i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna stand right here i'm gonna do slash set spawn and my spawn point is now right here and i'm just gonna go ahead and block off this portal so now every time i respawn i'm gonna spawn in there and uh, yeah i'm also gonna get rid of all these items from my island i will not be using any of this um, so yeah, say goodbye to the island. We will not be coming back here. Uh, yeah, let's head through this portal. Hey, you! You're finally awake! So yeah, I do think this is gonna be a pretty fun, but again, challenging series. Um, and some questions I do have for you guys. I want to get opinions. One thing is, since I don't have an island, so am I allowed to get people to craft things for me, or do I have to manually grind a collection every time I want to craft something? Because manually grinding a collection, I feel like would... I don't know. I don't know if I could do that, man. Depend. I mean, some maybe, but... It would be really hard, I feel like, so, I don't know, maybe have some mercy on me, let me know in the comments. Another question I had is, am I allowed to use guild splashes, or, like, leech other splashes in general? Um, I mean, because, I mean, that is something that a lot of players are able to do, but, yeah, just let me get opinions on that as well in the comments. Um, or am I, like, allowed to get people to brew potions for me because I can't brew potions on my own island? Or would I have to like try to buy them on the auction house, which no one really even sells potions on the auction house, so that wouldn't be very easy either. And I mean, I probably won't need potions all the time, but I am going to be trying to do some other things, like, um, I'm not going to be just earning money, like, I'm going to try to actually get a little bit of skills up and maybe do some Slayer eventually, we'll see. Alright, so I talked to all the villagers, so I think what I'm going to do now is... I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna deposit all my coins and then I'm gonna start by getting access to the deep caverns. So we're gonna go down that mining path real quick. Alright, we're just gonna use a brief Oh, <laughs> I got spicy on my rogue sword, nice. And so, yeah, another thing for me is my money making methods are gonna be pretty limited. It's probably gonna involve me doing a lot of auction house slash bazaar flipping because I can't use any minions to make money. I also can't, um, make like a pumpkin farmer or anything so that's also gonna make it hard to level my farming skill but yeah eventually i do want to try to try grinding summoning eyes to make money i think that will be pretty good also if i do grind some forge the prices of wood are still kind of high right now they have gone down a lot but they are still pretty high and that can make decent money so but for that i'm probably gonna want pots so you know all right so i just hit mining five but really quickly before i do actually go to deep caverns i'm going to buy myself a an undead sword uh, something I just realized is I'm gonna have to run everywhere. I don't get the luxury of having portals on my island. I'm gonna have to run everywhere I want to go, so that's fun. Also, guys, let me know. Would you like to see me, like, stream while I record some of these episodes? Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do it on all of them because you know, on some of them, it's if I'm doing auction house stuff, it's not gonna be very easy to do, but 
if I'm doing stuff like later down the line, if I'm skill grinding or maybe doing some some Slayer, which I don't, I'm not 100% sure if I will be, but if I do, um, I think those are the kind of things I could stream. So, well, also let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. Go ahead and talk to the lift operator over here, and then I'm, I'm gonna try to use that, I guess it's a glitch, to try to unlock every level. If I come down here and I jump, oh shit. Okay, that didn't mean to get in the lava, but if I go like right here, yeah, there we go. Oh, for some reason it didn't give me the um, diamond reserve. Well, uh, that's fine. I did actually kind of realize that I'm not going to really be able to do much until I do get more storage. I mean, I do have the default ender chest in my inventory, but still not a whole lot of storage here. But yeah, I might I might try to go make a little bit of money and buy a backpack or two, just maybe a couple small backpacks to help get myself some more inventory space. I just go ahead and sell that off for a couple extra coins. So I'm going to try to maybe do a little bit of auction flipping on some lapis armor here. Uh, I may also head over there to the... Uh, farm and collect some wheat for a little bit of easy cash. All right. Yeah, I've only got about 1200 coins So I went ahead and found myself a little bit of a private lobby here I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little wheat and do a little auction flipping and then hopefully we'll have enough to maybe buy ourselves a couple backpacks We got about 2.8k I'm gonna start bidding on some lapis armor now and probably while I wait for them to end I'll also collect more wheat All right, so I've been doing some bids on uh, the auction house here and some lapis armor and I haven't actually won any yet but I was also uh, getting some money from the uh, wheat farm over there while I wait for these bids to end I think I'm gonna work on trying to actually um, gain access to the bazaar back here because I believe you need what skills is it that you need yeah you need level 7 in farming forging and mining so I'm gonna try to see if I can unlock that um, in the meantime while these go all right, so we did actually just win this lapis helmet for about 813 coins, I believe it was, or it was around 800. So we went ahead and just sold that for a nice 200 coin profit, and we're still rating on the rest of our items there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy a promising pickaxe, um, just cause this will get a couple of efficiency levels on it as I do some mining. And I think what I'm gonna do is I believe the efficiency enchant is actually in the, the redstone collection. So I'm gonna see if I can't unlock the efficiency enchant and that way I can try to get myself some um, nice tools I do have to be careful here though because I have no armor and uh, a lot of money on me um, because I do want to be able to outbid people if they do uh, outbid me on that lapis armor okay you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I'll worry about getting I'll worry about unlocking that later I'm just gonna go ahead and head down to um, the cave between diamond and obsidian levels Well, I just had a zombie spawn on me and I lost uh, 2,000 coins. That kind of sucks right now, I'm not gonna lie. I should have just done this from the start. I'm gonna deposit all my remaining coins. I'm gonna head back there and I'm gonna jump off again and try to see if I can get the diamond level. I don't know why it didn't work that other time. Okay, see if we'll get it this time. There we go. There we go. I believe I made around 900 coins of that one. I do believe I bought it for around 1.1k. Alright, so this is the spot I was talking about. You don't really get any mobs coming down here, so I'm... I can peacefully mine some diamonds here. This will give me my mining level as well as hopefully help out with, uh... Make me a little bit of money. You know, I realize this is really not the best place to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back, and I'm just gonna go back to the gold mines, I think. Alright, and there we go, we just got mining 7 as well. So that's pretty nice, we got 6,000 coins there. I also believe that... Oh, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're not gonna be winning any of these uh, lapis pieces either. This one's about to end, and we already lost these two, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all the money back from that. Alright, so after collecting all my money again, I have about, um, 9,700 coins, so I think that should be workable to be able to buy a couple of, uh, backpacks, maybe smaller ones, let's see. Alright, and while I wait for those bids to run out, which hopefully I'll win, I'm gonna just harvest some more wheat again. Alright, so I did end up winning both of these small backpacks, so that's nice, I, what was, I think I paid 1.5k and 1.3k for the other? But that is two extra rows added to our storage, which, uh, considering, I mean, <laughs> how small it is now, that's not too bad. 
Also, I didn't end up uh, getting Forging 7 yet. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'll maybe do that next episode, maybe towards the beginning, so I can access um, the bazaar uh, for the next episode. Uh, but yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Um, we do have, so yeah, we did get those two backpacks, and then we have another uh, 8,000 coins or so there. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, if you did, subscribe for more episodes coming soon. Again, uh, whenever the next episode comes out, that'll be determined by how well this video is received. And also, I will be giving away uh, whatever items I end up getting by the end of this year's image. Just for server again, link in the description. And uh, yeah, also subscribe to see the new episodes. And uh, yeah, so I believe that is about it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Yeah. I don't believe in destiny, I just do what's best for me Don't listen to my enemies, they're just full of jealousy Yeah, this legacy, you gon' see what's left of me You gon' see success in me, you ain't seen the rest I of me I just wanna be the best at what I know Better than the rest, just watch me grow Put me to the test and watch me go This is my